Okay, so I am at Wemco today with my buddy Jacob, and one, you might have noticed he's a couple years younger than I am, okay? But I love that you've been here, you said straight out of high school. So what's it been like, one, getting to run these beautiful watch-on machines, but what's it been like coming out of high school to be in a machine shop right out of the get-go? So I never really thought that I would come into a trade like this. I've yeah. always kind of wanted to do something different, but never knew what I wanted to do in high school exactly. So I'm third generation machinist in my family and I've kind of followed down in my dad's footsteps and my dad actually got me a job here and I've been here for about two years now, just kind of bouncing back and forth between machines. I started on an old dinosaur, <laughs> uh, but uh, I was probably on that machine for five or six months and then I'd come over here. I've been on this particular machine for yeah. about a year and a half. Okay. It's like coming over to a Ferrari. It's, <laughs> It's really, really, I love that. <laughs> it's, it's nice. I like it a lot, but um, yeah, I never thought I would come down into this trade. Yeah. And when my dad would always talk about machining or like my uh, grandparents or whatever, never really knew what it was until I stepped foot in these doors. Yeah. And it's kind of expanded my experience and knowledge for machining and I've fallen in love with it. That's awesome. So, I mean, I know you just said the watch on is kind of like a Ferrari. Yep. It's the machine you started on is an old green beast from the eighties. Uh, the 70s? It's old. It's old. It's, it's old. old. I'm not it's sure. It's older than exactly. I am, too, which is yeah. saying something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and I love what you're talking about, like, you never thought you'd see yourself here, and it sounds like you're enjoying it. You're still here two years later. Yep, yep. Um, so, how has it been getting used to a control? Like, because there's going to be a big difference between the two. Yeah, so the biggest thing was, like, going from edge finding with, like, an edge finder to yeah. using an actual, like, machine probe yeah and the controls but it's honestly it's a lot easier coming over to these controls and yeah. using these over th those yeah um these controls are a lot more user friendly and it's just a lot easier to navigate through everything yeah and so what kind of variety of parts have you been putting through here oh god uh anything and everything <laughs> anything and everything all materials come through here stainless uh, regular steel yep. big parts little parts like we do all kinds of stuff here yeah it's nice you've got a little bit of size you can go bigger but yep. then like the pieces you're doing today these things are tiny they're tiny they're absolutely like just tiny but the same machine can do it all exactly. so on the so do you do the programming as well then? Oh yeah, I do all the programming just right in here. Uh, it's I've just recently started to get into programming and learning how to program and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. But having the program, being able to program off like a 3D model yeah. and coming over and immediately going into the actual uh, control, it's a lot more user friendly between these two to come into here and actually probe the parts and like see the part visually on a computer too. Yeah, well, and that's really cool here at Wemco, how you guys have these stations by each machine. Yeah. So you can get the full 3D models. You can tweak all your tool paths or change it if you need to. Yep. And then just transfer it right over to the control. Oh yeah. You don't have to go off to some office somewhere. I know this is kind of your first place, but most companies don't have this. Most companies, that computer's locked up in an office yeah. somewhere. So it's kind of special that they thought to keep it right here on the floor. Yeah, yep. Uh, cool. When I was on the older machine before this, um, I would actually have to program off of a completely different computer. And I was <laughs> I was learning how to program at that point and I wasn't doing it myself. I was watching somebody else do it. And yeah. I'd have to send it all the way to that machine. Oh, man. So it's so much nicer to have so, like an actual computer right here right with all my stuff it's like my own little area i love it very cool jacob and i know i'm about to put you on the spot i didn't talk to you about this before we got on camera but if there's young people out there considering the trades do you have any words of wisdom for them do it do it i really think do it i never thought i'd be in the trades like this i thought i was going to do something completely different going yeah. to college for something not this yeah not this at all and i've stepped my foot in the door two years ago and Never look back, I love it. And you're earning money instead of building up debt, which is kind of nice. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Awesome, good job, Jacob. Thank you. Thank you.